to Ambria. It's great to see you again. Thank you. It's so good to be here, and I can't wait to share this recipe with you guys. I know everyone's going to be excited it's about it. It's perfect for the season. So, Chef D, the last time we saw you, we were doing our uh, special at Emancipation Park for yes. Juneteenth. It's great to see you again. And also, a uh, big reality show winner here. I mean, you went on the road, the Great Food Truck Challenge. This was in Alaska, season 13, right? Yes, it was in Alaska in the winter. So for a Texas girl going to Alaska in the winter, it was definitely a struggle for me. I've never had to drive in the snow before, but I definitely put on my big girl um, britches and went out there and had a blast. Well, I'm lo I love these pictures. We love telling your story. And you are a self-taught chef, um, owns a line of organic pink Himalayan salt blends called Never Bland. And let's get to the bread pudding because I feel like bread pudding, you know, is not only a staple here in the South, but there's so many versions of it. Oh, yeah. Yours is going to take it right to the top. Well, in this bread pudding, I, you know, when I would make bread pudding with my great grandmother growing up, we would always have our different elements that we would do. And I wanted to make this fun, something that we could reuse and have a lot. I mean, just literally engage the whole family. So I use donuts because, you know, you order, you'll order donuts on a Saturday and you'll eat them with the kids and then, you know, they'll go crusty. So this is perfect for that. So, Derek, if you want to chomp those for me, that'd yeah. be great. Okay. And I have a bowl of some that I've already gotten started. And okay. so we're going to make the custard. So that part's super easy. Okay. You can do that with your kids you can even have them rip them up so you don't have to deal with the knife um, with the little ones so um, here we're gonna start our uh, custard Courtney okay so we have some milk that we're gonna pour into that okay um, as well as some heavy cream eating the bread mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. I mean those are from Shipley's I don't think they get any better Girl, so Girl, those are the best <laughs> and then we've got some brown sugar okay. as well as some milk um, some cinnamon and vanilla, and then I've got a big secret ingredient to my custard that a lot of people don't do, but I mean, I guarantee you it's a game changer. Okay, are um, we gonna share what that is? We are, uh -huh. we are. Right. So I'm cracking in four eggs. Uh-oh, y'all, don't do that. It happens. So you'll crack in all your eggs into your custard because this is what's gonna give it that umptious and what makes it fluff. Okay. And so the secret ingredient that I utilize is a peach preserve. Mm. So oh. we always grew up with fresh jams, and this is a great way to get rid of fruit so I toss that into the custard and it gives it this flavor and no one ever notices it they never know what it where it comes from they're just trying to pick they're it just out. trying to figure out exactly. what it is exactly and then the last ingredient is some um, condensed milk so this is great because it gives it that nice thick consistency oh okay and so I'm gonna have you whisk that up for me and okay. then we're gonna pour it right on top of those donuts oh wow now when you're doing this at home obviously you want to use a really large bowl oh yep like yep. just spilled that's what, no biggie okay um so you want to use a large bowl and then we'll pour that in there with the custard and then I'll help you do that so okay. we can make sure that we get that in that yeah. bowl. Do you have to mix it by hand or could you use a mixer if you want and what's the consistency you're looking for? So you, you don't want to use a mixer and oh. the only reason you don't want to use a mixer now for the custard you could but not the actual physical donut in the custard because you want to leave the donuts kind of chunky. You want to have some different little crunchy bits in there all that fun stuff okay? Okay but so, this part you could use a mixer. You could you definitely use to. a mixer okay. if you wanted to at home. Okay. So and then this portion you'll pour in and then we'll mix it together. Okay. And so I'll help you with that pour. We'll make it simple. Okay, get it nice, there nice and covered yeah. there. And it really yes. doesn't matter if you have plain donuts or you, I see some other kind of different donuts in there. It doesn't matter, right? It does not matter. So there's a combination of cake donuts and regular glazed donuts. And I like to use a combination because of the texture difference okay. that we were talking about. So it makes sure that you have all those great pieces to it. Now, while um, I'm mixing this up, can we get to the finished product here? Because we're tight on time and I'm dying to taste this. No, no this. problem. So you'll make your caramel and that's really simple. You'll just dump in your butter, your heavy cream and your um, brown sugar. Sugar, okay. And then you end up with this wonderful whiskey. And I use Crown to add to that, to the um, caramel itself, because it brings it together and it elevates it for the adults. So you get to have fun, give ice cream to the kids and the bread pudding with the caramel to the adults. Okay. And then what we're going to do, I have some here ready for you guys. So I'm going to plate it up for you to try. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to reach so over good. here. Oh, yeah. And grab this. And while you're serving that up, too, you are the owner and executive chef of Sophisticated Delight. And again, as Courtney mentioned, your pink Himalayan blend called Never Bland. So, Chef D, we can't wait to try your bread pudding. If you would like to get the complete recipe, head over there to our go. website, HoustonLife.tv. Absolutely. Fantastic. And so we'll add some powdered sugar on top. And then you can garnish with a nice strawberry or two. And then you pour on that caramel, it's perfect. We are Look ready to go. That. All right, we're eating. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. Houston Life will be right back. Thanks, Chef D. You're welcome. Thank you.